Hey. So, um... A lot has happened over the last week and a half, basically since the day I posted the last update video. Um, a lot has happened. Uh, so our that same day, our house flooded. Um, where we're living at, that's part of the reason why I'm making this, uh, where we're living at right at the moment uh, is a house from the 40s that was bought by a guy and flipped. Uh, we were lied to about a number of things. There's a lot of problems with this place, one of which we discovered uh, is that the basement floods, which it didn't do at any point before now. Um, but we had about an inch and a half, inch, inch and a half of water in the basement. Life support income. Now, a lot of the time that's okay, except when you have two people who have the bedroom that is in the basement and one of them has an office area in part of the basement. Uh, and yeah, we ended up having a lot of our stuff destroyed. Um, and then while cleaning up that and trying to get that taken care of, we found out that the house was infested with rats. And it's not our fault because I found a bunch of old rat traps hidden in back areas, uh, like behind the furnace and, near, and behind the water heater and stuff like that, and behind the washer and dryer, stuff like that, where we definitely didn't put them. Um, so a lot of things happened, and a bunch of our stuff we discovered was destroyed by rats. Uh, so rats and water destroyed a good majority of Sam and I's belongings. When we moved into this place, we had our desks, our chairs, our computers. We bought a bed that we built in this house uh, the first time, and we had about 25, 30 boxes worth of stuff. We have 11 boxes now, and we are mostly packed because our lease ends on the 31st of this month. Um, so we are mostly packed at this point, and we have maybe a third of our things total. Between the water destroying multiple boxes that were stored in our closet, because our closet was one of the first places to flood in our bedroom, as well as a bunch of other stuff, we lost a good chunk of our belongings. And to top that off, uh, we also found out that the apartment that we applied for, and as far as we know, um, got approved for. The move-in date has been pushed back to February 15th. 15 days after our lease here is up. Um, and, and I'm not blaming the apartment complex. They are brand new construction that opens in... Uh, it's to 12th today, so the first people moving in start moving in in three days. Like, there's literally no one living there. They are... They are and they don't want to have, you know, just a crush of people all trying to move in their shit on at once. So I get it. I understand. I'm not mad at the apartment complex. And the move-in date that we had originally thought, which was going to be the 31st, was more from our application than them telling us that. Uh, so far, they've been very good in all of this. Uh, they've even offered to let us rent a for a massive discount just for a month, a storage air locker in the building to put our stuff into so that we don't have to carry around, you know, a shit ton of boxes and all this other stuff. The problem is Sam and I still need a place to stay that has internet connection. Not for me, but because that's literally what his job requires. He, he does telephone stuff he, he answers phone calls and and does customer support for a major telecom and we need internet so we have to stay at a hotel or someplace that has decent dish internet that we can plug a computer into and has enough space for him to work um, so two weeks of a hotel is not cheap in Seattle or Renton or any of the surrounding areas on top of that, we need to replace a bunch of furniture, um, buy a bunch of furniture, buy stuff for the kitchen, because a lot of our stuff, we ended up 
tossing out when we all moved in together because our stuff was the cheaper Operative stuff that was frankly not as good as everybody else's that was moving in with us. And so we threw away all of our old cooking stuff except for my cast iron skillet and a couple other things. Um, basically what I'm making this for is to ask for help. Uh, outright. I've done this one other time on the channel with the after I got hit. Um, we need help. Uh, there's a GoFundMe in the description as well as some other things and a link to my Twitter where I've talked about this stuff in a thread. Uh, we're trying to get about $2,500 to move basically all of our stuff um, buy some of the replacement stuff we have to and also stay at a hotel for two weeks um it's a lot and i know that most people that we know personally are broke as fuck and asking this is a lot of us and i am sorry for that um but we are at we only have about three weeks and we have 19 days uh until we have to be in a place that's not here and our rent and everything is covered like we can we can pay the rent at the new place it is literally just because of the move-in date if if we could just move in on the 31st this would not be a problem but between everything happening with stuff getting destroyed having to spend a bunch of money to buy a shop vac and take care of the flooding in our basement, which it started again today. There's trickles of water coming out of the wall behind me, the wall behind our refrigerator, and from the wall behind the uh, the water heater and running all the way across the entire room at one point. Um, so far, they're just small leaks, but if it rains at all, it's going to flood again. I We need help outright and so if you can or if you know people who can or even if you just can share posts and stuff please do we kind of at my last legs and this is not something that i really want to ever do on this channel and i know it's something i've done once before but that was also an extreme circumstance i got hit by a car um but yeah uh if if possible Hit us up, please, because, yeah, there's a lot going on, and getting the, you know, $2,700 together to move in is already not the easiest thing when you're renting in Seattle, uh, and having to get an extra roughly $2,500, I think, the, I think the total was like $2,380, so I put $2,500 because of the fees that GoFundMe takes out. And even then, we will still have to probably tap a little bit into our savings that's meant for our actual apartment. Um, but yeah, if possible, we would greatly appreciate it. And I'm sorry I don't have anything besides that to offer in return. Maybe, I don't know, if you've liked our content over the years. I mean, this channel's eight now, going on nine Oh my god, going on nine this year. Um Ooh, that's a or is it Is it been seven years and we're going on eight, eight? I don't remember now. Uh either way, it's a lot. And um Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Uh it's it's been a it's been a it's been a weird like ten days or whatever it's been. Uh I'm also currently dealing with uh, COVID vaccine uh, um, side effects. So I'm really not doing well right now. <laughs> and I fell. And I fell yesterday. Not to just pile on all, everything, but I also, on my way back from giving, getting my COVID shot, fell in our driveway and slammed down on my bad knee. So uh, just... just to, not a not a pity me thing just a this is where i'm at right now and why i'm stuttering and stumbling over my words so much thing um anyway it, yeah if you could at least share it please do um and if you can help us in any way i'm not going to say no right now have a nice night everybody i will uh 
will try to get some stuff recorded as soon as I possibly can. If I can't due to weird messed up circumstances, then we'll be back sometime mid-February. But for now, I gotta get this figured out. See ya.